both merchant ships, we usually operate at three phase, 440 volts, 60 hertz alternating supply. But the object of this video is to understand why we use high voltage on board ships. What are the advantages and what do you gain exactly by using high voltage? For that to understand, we have to know how high is the voltage used on board ships. So with respect to the marine environment, low voltage is said to be any voltage or the ship's operating voltage which is less than 1000 volts and high voltage is termed as any voltage or the ship's operating voltage more than 1000 volts. So with respect to this, we currently have at this point of time uh, three ranges of operation at high voltage. One is 3.3 kV and the other is 6.6 .6 kV and the third is 11.1 .1 kV. So these three classifications are usually encountered on board uh, merchant ships. 3.3 .3 kV is the rarest to find and we have some container ships or some uh, specialized vessel, vessels like research ships and 6.6 .6 kV is used mostly by the LNG ships both motor and steam vessels and 11.1 .1 kV can be found only on board passenger ships or some drill ships or even sometimes some FPSOs. So let's now see why we use high voltage either 3.3, 6.6 or 11.1. Now let's start with the basic. We all know that the Ohm's law states that power in any circuit is V into I uh, I just I'm just writing the formula to understand it easily and uh, if it's going to be a three phase circuit as we use it on board it's root 3 V into I into uh, cos cos phi and this is being the power factor of the load so now for time being I'm going to neglect this cos phi factor and root 3 just for simplicity and understanding so I assume P is equal to V multiplied by I. Now let's understand for a given power, let's say um, 440 kilowatts is the power. I'm going to operate the ship at 440 ohms. So what will be the current? It will be roughly 1000 amps. I have neglected the cost phi, that's the power factor. So to operate a ship at 440 ohms, I have to design the cables and everything for 1000 amperes to achieve a load output of 440 kilowatts. Now I'm going to operate the ship at just for example let's say 1100 ohms. Now the required amperes drops to 400 amps. That's fantastic. So I just need to design the, design the cables uh, just for 400 amps and if at all I increase the voltage to 11,000 and now the required amperes is just 40 which is still less. So what we can find is by increasing the voltage or I'll show it over here V into I. So by increasing the voltage the current drops for a given power on board a ship. So as I keep on increasing the voltage I just have to design my entire circuit, feeder circuit and uh, let's say protection devices just for 40 amps. That's a great advantage right? The cable size can be smaller obviously it's known that you all know that uh, the cable what I'm going to use for 1000 amperes will be thicker and uh, 40 amperes will be very thin so I'm gonna uh, um, let's say uh, save huge amount of money over it or uh, uh, space weight everything now let's talk something on losses I'm not going to talk on iron loss or copper loss individually generally losses which is majority is contributed by I square R 
R being the resistance of the circuit or load and I being the current load current in the load circuit. Now R remains same. Let's say I have a ship I have a ship with uh, fixed electrical motors, fixed load like a galley heating stuffs, lights, etc. So R is fixed. With 440 oh, I mean 440 volts, I'm going to have, let's say, um, previously we have calculated with 440 volts, we're going to have 1000 amp circuit. So, with 11,000 volts, we have 40 amp circuit. Now, just bring this 1000 amp in this formula. If the amps is going to be too much high, let's say 1000 amps, so my losses are going to be square of the amperes thousand square will be my losses which is huge however if i say well, let's say i design my circuit for 40 amps when you put it in this formula now 40 square is comparatively very very less when compared to thousand square so my losses is going to completely depend on square of the current that's the reason we reduce or bring down the current by increasing the voltage. And let's now see about the short circuit or fault protection circuits and uh, how we design or what are the advantages we get by using high voltage. Sorry, yeah. Let me draw a circuit, simple circuit for you. This is generator 1 and uh, this is the circuit breaker and this is the bus bar and this is going to be uh, supplied to the load okay and uh, I have one more generator and this is the circuit breaker bus bar and uh, this is the feeder circuit breaker and a similar load I mean I'm showing two bus bar just to uh, understand the concept actually on board ship you'll have maybe bus bars connected together so let's say this uh, generator number one is 1000 kva three phase 60 hertz sorry 60 hertz and uh, it operates let's say 415 volts i'm not taking 440 just for um, just to change get a fresh idea i'm just saying 415 volts now this generator is also 1000 kva three phase 60 Hertz and let's say it operates at 6600 volts now both the generator and the bus bar or the supply circuit has equal load let's say uh, some uh, 800 kilowatt or something let's say we'll assume it now the full load current for this circuit I'll just change the color full load current on this circuit will be roughly um, 1400 amp now you got to calculate the full load current by using the formula P power is equal to root 3 V into I into uh, if you want you can put cos phi but I neglect it now root 3 VI that's it I'm going to use so I get the full load um, amperes to be 1400 amperes so now what I have to do is to protect my generator and all of the circuit uh, let's say the supply circuit and the feeder circuit I have to design my protection devices roughly as a thumb rule 10 times the full load current so 10 times of 1400 amps is 14 kilo amperes so I have to match my circuit breaker and other protection devices for 14 kilo amperes. Now with a similar structure and calculation now we're going to calculate for 6600 volts. Alright so similarly calculate with the help of the formula root 3 V into I you'll get the full load current for the generator which is operating at 6600 volts to be just 88 amps roughly let's say 90 amps so 
as a thumb rule again we have to design just 10 times the full load current so I have to desi design my circuit breakers just for 90 into 10 that is 900 amps that's it which is going to reduce the size of the circuit breakers and protection devices and help to save a lot of cost a lot of money you know so that's the main advantage we get by increasing the voltage so it is for this reason we um, operate at high voltage on both certain ships